Hey everybody, it's Chicka Connor, and welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, we got to Toad Town, and we found out that Shy Guys are running amuck in town. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get to the bottom of this problem. Hey, you, you little scamp, get your hands off! Give me back my calculator! You took Rolf's calculator! I must have those badges! Close up shop. You mean you can't have shop without your calculator? What, are you too dumb to add? I don't know. But then again, there's no a shy guy's floating in the air. But then again, there's no adding to be done with a calculator. I mean, think about it. I mean, your transactions are only of one badge at a time, and I think he knows his own prices. Yeah, yeah, the flowers can be their things. Whatever. I'm trembling the flowers. Na -na 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 -na. All right, none of that. What's he got to say? Now that you've saved the garden, there's a lot of cleaning up to do. Is this my chance? Hi. Maybe I should go help Minty th fix the garden. No, oh, apparently he likes her. Little Toad, he's got a crashy washy. I don't know. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. Hmm? Town seems to be pretty active today. But it's none of my concern. I had a dream last night, and an oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in... In the distant desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice of my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I don't sleep at night. Find out what that means, please tell me. Uh-huh. Very, very strange. Anyway, um, we're going to do that quest that he was talking about some other time, alright? For now, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the badge shop and exchange my star pieces that I collected in the previous chapter for some new badges, alright? I will be right back in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. I bought the pretty lucky badge from him for five star pieces. That's going to make enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while when we equip that. But anyway, I'm just going to rest in the toad house if that shy guy got out of jumping on the bed. Come on. Now, before we get to the bottom of this and head to that Shy Guy's toy box that we heard about, I'm actually going to try beating the next part of Toad Town Tunnels and taking out that mini optional boss right there. Because there is another optional boss that I believe we can get to now. And I just wanted to get that out of the way, though, because, you know, we're going to have to go through Toad Town Tunnels as a whole in a later chapter, and I figured, eh, we might as well just clear out these mini bosses for the time being if we can take them out. Anyway, we go down here. We cannot go over here yet, unfortunately. However, we can go this way. Yep. All right. Now here we have Dark Koopas. These are very annoying enemies. Okay, when they're they can do this dizzy attack to make you all dizzy. When they're running in place like that, that means they're gonna do their dizzy attack on you next turn. So you're gonna wanna get see like that. He just did that animation like where it was all dizzy right there. When they do that, you gotta watch out though, because then they're gonna, you know, do the thing that I was just talking about. I'll try to show you the timing on it right here. Ah, couldn't do it. And Mario's dazed. He can't move. Just great. Let's see what I can do. Change member. Nah, let's just take a far carry. Anyway, I'm going to cut the rest of this fight. You guys get the whole point. These guys are just annoying because they do that. Oh, come on! God, that was an annoying fight. I swear to God, that fight was like two minutes. Jeez. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and take out the other ones in here. So I believe there's three of them that we need to beat to open the door to the next part. Anyway, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and suggest the Feeling Fine badge that keeps you from being dazed or poisoned. Um, which Merlot sells in the uh, badge shop with the star pieces. Because that would be a really helpful badge to have right here. Anyway. By the way, Quick Hammer is also good as I just showed right there. Okay, cutting the rest. Okay, and we're done! And this is awesome because we leveled up from that fight! So it was not a total waste coming down here. Anyway, um, let's see. BP. Yes, 
some more BP. And we have a switch. What is the switch going to do? If I can hit it, it gives us a pipe. But to where does this pipe lead? It takes us to the Booze Mansion. Awesome, so we have a quick transport to the Blues Mansion anytime we want. Should we ever need to go back there? There's plenty of pipes like that though, but this is just the first one that I got. Anyway, going on. Okay, I believe this part is composed of invisible blocks, if I'm not mistaken. Is an upgrade up there? Come on, I want the invisible block. Maybe we need a better jump. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I was like one space. Okay, I was one space off, no wonder. Anyway, I just wanted to get the party member upgrade in here, that way we gain all the party members. That's why I wanted to come down here. I think there is a mini boss in here though, though, but I... Never mind. I'm just all around confused right now. <laughs> okay, we got Goombario upgraded. Awesome. Bari has been upgraded to super rank. Kick ass. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go back. I believe I know where the mini boss is now. I thought he was down here though, but I was mistaken. I just want to go ahead and get all the. Yep. We can break that block now that we could not break before. Blooper. Yes, this is where it is. Ah, I'm an idiot. All right, we have. The Electro Blooper. He has 50 HP and he can do an Electro Shock attack, which is kind of powerful. Just whenever he charges, I'd recommend uh, bows out of sight, and I really should have switched from Goombaria back to bow right there, which I guess I'll do right now. It should be really helpful in this way. Same ink attack as the last one, just does a little bit more damage. He is not all that tough at all. Got a few power bounces on him there. Bo, go ahead and fuck his little bitch ass. Bitch slap him. Okay, sorry for the language. <laughs> oh, nice. Gotta love that little curse thing. All right, this will reduce the damage we take. Well, that wasn't helpful at all. Okay, now when he's like that, you do not want to attack him unless you have a badge that defends against electricity, though. Because if you go ahead and jump on him like that. You're just gonna get hurt. I believe electric attacks don't really hurt him, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, don't quote me on that though, but I'm not gonna risk wasting a good item on him. Anyway, we're just gonna star storm and then we're gonna use out of sight. Simple enough. This way his electric shock is not gonna do anything to you. Well, not really an electric shock, though, just his charge is like electric shock. It just raises. It's like in any other charge, except if you touch it, it hurts you. I kind of worded that kind of wrong when I said electric shock attack. But you get the point. Okay. Can't really do anything. She's out of sight. Da. Thank you, Bo. What do you mean he still has his electricity? <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Mario, do nothing. Oh. oh, of course. Of course, I mess things up. Oh, only four damage. Okay, not that bad. It's because I switched to bow instead of just hitting do nothing, though, so it counted as two turns. Of course, I had to screw up the attack pattern. Sure not on the ball today, am I? God. I want you to die! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Okay. At least we have all our party members fully upgraded and we took care of this mini boss. At least that's some progress for you in this part. Alright. 
Anyway, we get these three pipes that open up for us after hitting the switch. This one, I believe, is to Koopa Village. Goomba Village. Over here, I'll go ahead and shove something. Now, remember this forest, like where we first were discovered? Ground pound next to it. There was a star panel right where you were in the beginning of the game, laying down. What do you know, there was a star piece literally right under your nose the second you started this adventure. <laughs> anyway, the others take you to Koopa Village and Dry Dry Outpost, though, but there's not enough time to show this, so I'm going to cut this, okay? So, so if you like this part, subscribe to videos up the corner, big yellow button, give me a five-star reviews, demo so you check the parts if you like this one, okay? In the next part, we head at Shy Guy's Box, okay? I will see you guys later.